Grace and mercy and peace belong to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's light our candle as we take a moment to gather around a promise from God's Word today. A lit candle during a devotion, uh, during a, a family devotion at home, or, or even if, if you are on your own, in your, in your own home, uh, taking a moment in God's Word, lighting a candle can simply be one way to be a reminder that in a, in a world of trouble and, and chaos and darkness, Jesus always, always is the light of the world. This is a book I received from a loved one just a few short years ago. On the back cover, I will read a couple of reviews about this, this book and, and the true story that it tells. The Chicago Tribune says, it's one of the most gripping, suspenseful, intense stories anyone will ever read. The New York Times calls it riveting. The Wall Street Journal says, grit in the face of seemingly insurmountable adversity. As you can see, the title of this book is Endurance. This is the true story of a British expedition around 1914 or so under the leadership of a man by the name of Ernest Shackleton. And they were going to attempt to uh, sail down to Antarctica and then with dog sleds cross the entire South Pole, the, across the entire continent of Antarctica. At that time, that had never been done before. Ernest Shackleton and his team of about 27 men, once they got down there, ran into severe cold weather. They ran into dis disaster regarding their ship, and suddenly they found themselves in an indescribable situation they were without a ship. No one was looking for them because World War I had just broken out and the whole world's attention was, was riveted on that. And they had to find some way to get home. What they were willing to attempt to try to get home is the story that is told in this extraordinary book, Endurance. It's an extraordinary book, not only because of the telling of the tale and, and all the things that went on, but also simply the story of a group of people, a group of individuals longing, longing to get back home is a story that, that resonates with all of us throughout the ages. It always has, from, from the ancient tale of the Odyssey to a tale like this of Ernest Shackleton to Apollo 13. The three astronauts working with the, the, the people on the ground to get back home to even a, a fictional tale like Lassie Come Home. This story of, of longing to get home and, and taking that journey home has resonated throughout the generations. And perhaps one of the reasons it, it resonates so much is that it reflects the reality that you and I have in our relationship with our God. And with that, let's, let's give that some thought. Our sin, our uh, natural inborn maddening tendency, insane tendency, to turn our backs on the God who created us and who loves us and, and to wander far away from him. Our sinfulness has taken us far, far away from home. But God did not simply allow us to wander off. He sent someone to bring us back. He sent his own son, God the Son, in the person of Jesus Christ, came here 
and he lived among us and not simply to give us some company he lived among us to live a perfect life in our place and then to take the wall of sin that that had put such distance between us and a holy god he took that terrible wall of 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 our sin he took all of that upon himself brick by brick and he carried it all to the cross and paid for it in full through his suffering and death and then he rose from death and now through his gospel his holy spirit comes to each of us with that gospel call trust in jesus trust in what jesus has done for us and through jesus promises and, and what he has done on our behalf Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is the way home. This has been an unusual year and continues to be so. How are things going on in your home? How are things going on in your life? Have you had moments? Are you having a moment right now when you just feel isolated, alienated, over, over time, ha have you gained a sense that y you feel as if you're a little bit adrift, a little bit disconnected, perhaps from your Savior or from, from others? Perhaps this is a moment to be refreshed in the way home. Perhaps this is a moment to be refreshed in the one who brings us home. This is a time to be refreshed in Jesus. When we look to him in repentance, all the ways that we have alienated ourselves from him, and we look to him as our savior, his blood washes us clean all over again. The blanket of his holiness from his holy life envelops us like a wonderful cloak all over again. And forgiven and embraced by our God through faith in Jesus. He brings us home because with the Lord a promise made is a promise kept. If this is a, a, a moment for each of us to remember what we have in Jesus and to remember that Jesus is the way home May the Lord send each of us his spirit by his gospel to renew our bond with our Savior so that we know that in Jesus we're home. We read the closing verses of our psalm of the day today. Our psalm for today is Psalm 69, an extraordinary psalm, a lengthy one, but a, a graphic one and powerful one. Uh, of, of someone who finds himself in a terrible, chaotic situation, but he looks to his Savior God, and this psalm ends with the assurance that those who trust in our Savior God, they're going to be okay. They'll get home. God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. Then people will settle there and possess it. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell there. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.